Oh my god, it's Sherlock Holmes the Awakened. I think we were um, stuck in a loony bin here last time. No super convincing disguise and acting ability did not talk us into the Schwartz Edelweiss Sanitarium? Institute, that's what it is. Um, I don't know if I made a mistake or if it was sort of a foregone conclusion that this is how things would end up, but here we are, nonetheless. Ping! Got some scratches on the wall, we got the door, we got the sleeping celly here. The unmistakable scent of alcoholism. Did you walk through their doors as I did, or did they collect you off the streets? Well, we are hoping to find Kimi Hia here somewhere. Give Rush too, uh, ideally. Um, ah, that's the lock picking mini challenge. Okay, so we have shallow, uh, second deepest, deepest, and then somewhere in the middle. Okay, so shallow. Let's say second deepest, let's say three is the deepest, and then somewhere in the middle. Nope, that doesn't make any sense. This one would have to be... This one, this one. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, looks like we got... Okay, so that one is a little too high, the other one's not quite okay, so we got two out of the four, so bring the first one down, bring the third one up. Like so. There we go. If only actual lockpicking were like that. Uh, we got a truncheon. truncheon. Not the typical tool for a nurse. Well, I've seen one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Uh, holding chamber. Lock H. I'm just gonna wander around here willy nilly. Investigation sound. Oh, block A, not H. Sorry. I always have trouble reading the, uh. What is it? What is it called? Black. It's not Black Adder script. This, whatever this was. This Middle German strange script type examination room. Apothecary. Let me find something interesting in here. A condenser. Any chemist would envy the quality of this equipment. So the equipment he noted at the um, sewer area, the vault area, that the equipment was very poor. Raw materials so. used to formulate medicine. But still, the uh, presence of any chemistry setup is a little bit odd. The final product ready to cure madness, or to push one deeper into its grasp. With this equipment, they can create any type of medication. Potassium bromide certainly looks familiar. It's what uh, Sherlock's mother was on. A couple Very syringes. Sturdy. I might borrow it. Okay. I know I too like to just kind of pick up syringes where I find them. Frogs can't wash up, and I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. Fourth little frog was dirty and rotten. What if I put that frog in the water? Leslie Dunnerop swims in a bath. Laundry seems to end of seems the end of her path. Fourth little froggy dies in the walls of Black Edelweiss. It sounds sinister, even for a place like this. All right, some patient information. Eloise K. Okay, dermatillomania. Nail trimming every day. Do not untie her hands, even if she won't stop screaming. So I'd say, uh, compulsive itching. Maurizio H. Mania, disassociation, commentary after the incident with the nurses, prescribed therapeutic fasting for a week, mentioned Josephine to make him more manageable. 
Mariana W. Hysteria. Keep raising the dosage until she forgets the child. Stuber is quite acceptable. My goodness. Nils J. Nervous breakdown. Do not allow any visits. All letters sent to the patient must be destroyed. If there are more frogs in the pond. Mm -hmm. Okay. Concentration clue here. I don't expect to see anything in this room, but it's a possibility. What was that? Is someone oh, there? Shit. Okay. Well, it was done for. Um, what happens if I try to proceed anyway? I'm just going to assume that something bad will happen or. Um. Best case scenario, I'll be kicked back out. That's my guess. Hans Winkler. Seems to be rather agitated. Lionel Rickert? You there! Marizio. Marizio. I command you to free me at once. I'm not sure that's a great idea at the moment. How dare you deny me? I must have my revenge against the Lickspittles upstairs. Fortunately for you, I'm here to stop the very same people. You are? Indeed. But first, I must discover all I can about this institution. Tell me, have you witnessed the arrival of any foreign patients? Tell me? The goal? The impertinence to bark such orders? Please, we don't have time for this. Do you know with whom you speak? I am the great Napoleon! Napoleon Bonaparte? The one and only. Emperor of the French, first consul of the Republic, leader of La Grande Armée. Once I am free and have exacted my revenge against the guards who ridicule me, I shall rest happy in the arms of my beloved Josephine. Okay. But, well, I will leave you to your scheming, Emperor. What did that say? Oh, that's about the... Oh. Well, what's this? Oh, how to safely remove the block B guard. Okay, I clearly don't have everything I need for that because I have the syringes, but <clears throat> I need something else as well. Okay. Here's Arlene Gali Eden. Is that Armenian? My heart is pierced by Cupid. I disdain all glittering gold. There is nothing can console me. But my jolly sailor bold. Okay. So this is a concentration for me. I have not seen anything come up just yet. Okay, this one here is empty. It was meant to be. Storage room. Sure, let's check that out. Another... Okay. I'm okay with the lockpicking minigame, but hopefully this isn't something that comes up too much. I don't want to be doing this for half the game. It's a little irritating. It's not that difficult, so it's more about spending the time to just work it out. Um, all right, anyway, um, so we have three tiers. Looks like they're one bump away from each other, then one bump down, and then call it two or three bumps up. Let's say four, one, two, three, one, two, and then what was it? Uh, one, two, three, and then one, two, something like that. Oh, except for the last one, it's got to come down by one bump. There we go. We forgot their diploma here. A certificate of appreciation from the municipal councillor to Professor Becker for contributions to the development of medicine in Interlaken. 
Well, I remember that interlocking is where we are. There's blood here, but we can't examine that. That we're not interested in. Um... A simple toolbox, yet capable of repairing anything. Okay. There's a bleed there. Dumb waiter crank. Looks like it's still operational. Okay, so we could send that up. What's this? This photo was damaged, seemingly by oil. I can make out the names listed here. Is, what's the shit here on the side of it? Cooking grease. Is this the kitchen dumbwaiter? That was my assumption. Speech and the cerebellum by S.A. Becker. Hmm. Is that a length of... Why, why is Becker's stuff all in here? Professor Gygax, I have suffered serious chemical burns upon my hand consequences of your inexcusable actions. My session with Gerda ended before it even began. Poor thing was so terrified she refused to talk and started to destroy everything in the room rather than let me approach her. What you did to Gerda will not be and will not and cannot happen again. Let it be known that I consider your methods barbaric. Now practice if you, as if as you so boldly can't claim, you wish to be the future of my facility. You must have... I'm sorry. I'm having eye issues here. I, my eyes are fuzzy. Um, uh, you must embody my high standards. Do not disappoint again, Professor Becker, director of Black Edelweiss. Okay, apparently he's out and she's in. That's why his stuff is here. Tubes of varying diameters. Interesting. Frogs cannot kill... But surely I can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. Fifth little frog was foolish at large. He forgot about rules. Who is in charge? Timothy Calamiri lies dead in block B. I swapped out his pills for something nasty. Fifth little frog dies in the walls of Black Edelweiss. R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly. It appears that all the psychiatric classics were banished here. R.G. Hill, Dr. Connolly. Oops. It appears that all the psychiatric classics were okay. banished. Okay, stop here. with the stack of books. Oh, they're both this. No, okay. John Sallow, the Tulpa Phenomenon. I'm somewhat of an expert already. Something of an expert myself. Ooh, a dynamic object. Um, is that all? Looks like I don't see anything new here. Okay. Uh, oh, this is not. Oh, we got two of them now. I'm um, guessing that this is for block B. Guessing this is for block A. Um, I still haven't found any third object. Oh, I do have a third object now. Okay. Uh, syringes, obstructed access, and metal tubes make ourselves a, what, blowgun of some strange contraption type? Oh, really? Okay. A note from Professor Becker, then. No. Okay, there's still one more thing, at least for me to find, then. Somewhere. Uh, if I ping again... Got everything. Oh, painting. Painting in a mental institution. Vogel would be delighted. Yeah, well, Will was delighted about all kinds of weird stuff, isn't he? Alright. I see nothing else in here, so I guess we go back. Oh. A boat. Sprawling. Some kind of symbol I can't quite see through the bars. Looks like we can deal with Napoleon again. Um, but we do. Can I get through here? I can. Where does this go to again? Examination room. Okay. Let's see what we got up here then. 
Not gonna run into somebody, are you? Are we? This isn't a stealth game, so it doesn't look like it. Uh, nothing in here. Definitely, uh, or originally a castle design. Not as a hospital at all. Um, do we have anything up here? It's the examination room. Why is there nothing to examine? I'd rather not sit in this chair ever again. Schwartz's Edelweiss. This sedative worked faster than I expected. Perhaps I ought to train myself. Build up a tolerance. This sounds like you just want to get high, man. There's reception through there. What else we got? What is this? Pictures of patients. I wonder if these are uh, people who worked on the game. It is sometimes they throw it in there as an Easter egg. That would be cool. Um, I don't see anything. This is very unusual. There's a whole room here with seemingly nothing in it. There's the guest room. I wonder if Watson was able to speak to Gygax. Can I actually see it? Um, no, apparently I can't. Okay, it seems like it would be useful. Oh, what do we got here? We have a new... Oh, a bottle of sedative. Okay. There we go. Now we have everything we need to knock out the guard. Sneak by. Um, okay. It's got a gear icon. What am I supposed to do with that? Um, oh, what did I get? Can't change close here. Well, I just want to see what I got. Okay. Um, I can't build it here, so... Oh, what's this? Oh. God. No way I can get past him without being noticed. Okay. And I'm sure I don't want to go out here, so... Locked. I suppose the reception will be guarded anyway. All right, so, and I guess we're done with that. How do I build this? Do I have to go back and grab the thing? This should suffice. Okay, this seems like kind of an in insane plan, but sure, why not? thing is shaking, so it makes it hard to line the shot up. The reticule is drifting up and down. So we were able to blow hard enough to shoot a heavy, full metal syringe that far with like a 10-inch pipe. Strains credulity. First little frog. Frogs cannot think, and I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. First little frog was my very first try. Her dumb little head is needed to pry. Hannah Pollard, near the hole in the wall, wanders. There, her head with a brick encounters. First little frog dies in the halls of black heavens. <clears throat> I can change into his clothes. Agent 47 style. Attention. Wait, what did I do with the guy? He's from a distance. Where did he go? Okay, he's gone. Okay, I'll take it. Or I guess uh, I'll accept it. Uh, oh, this is more of a sedative. Well, all right. Manufactured and packaged here. This is the same narcotic substance that we found in London. Okay. Um, what else we got? 
Oh, what's this? Herr Schnitzer, I, hast I hasten to assure you that your son is in good hands. Oh. Hold on a moment. Um, up, uh, where was I? I hasten to assure you that your son is in good hands and that his expected development of a psychological disorder can be remedied at our facility. I am sure you are as concerned about your son's well-being as I am, and I am confident our combined efforts will lead to a speedy recovery. The housing of our pharmaceuticals in your warehouse is an important part of this process. If you succeed at drawing officials' attention away from this precious cargo, there will be nothing to stop me from returning your son to you safe, sound, and free of this unfortunate illness. Yours sincerely, Professor Gygax. Well, they are up to some shady shit. Um, is that it? Anything else? Here, in there, around here. I don't see it. We're gonna move on. Here we go. B block. Some more guys over there. Probably want to avoid them. <laughs> um, I'm trying to figure out the frog thing. Um, this one says block B. So my hope is that I'll find some clue as to what I should be doing. Here, I can seem to be able to deal directly with any of them. Let's see if you see anything here. Alright. Not sure what to do. Ah, is this it? Bitter almond the killer smoke. swapped Timothy's pills for cyanide. Hmm. The faint almond scent is unmistakable. Okay, well that explains that. Alright, uh, and then this other one we've got here. Anna Pollard, it doesn't say where she is, but it says she's near the hole in the wall. Not sure where that might be. None of these patients have name name tags. Go away, or I will tear your lips from your skull with my fingernails. Miss, I I'll gouge your eyes out and cut off your hands, just like you did to Heidi. I am quite certain you would, but I'm afraid you have me mistaken for someone else. So, I take it your name is Gerda? Who is Heidi? You talk strange. You're going to Hell's Door, aren't you? To where those other funny talkers finally shut up? Hell's Door? To what do you refer? Only Heidi had answers. Go away, pig! I merely- I said go, or you will spend your last moments on Earth screaming. This door? Won't stop me. Hey, okay. well, there's Gerda. Ah, uh, here we go. The murderer used his left hand to kill Hannah with a brick. Yep, sure did. Okay, that's two of the three. This one here, Buzzy Dunrop, swims in a bath. And clearly we're missing a couple of these, because we have the first, fourth, and fifth little froggies. So we're looking for... Um, restricted area? Oh, okay. I can go back there, because I... I'm in order, really. Um, so we're looking for baths. Laundry. Oh, there was some mention of laundry. There we go. The killer was strong enough and the bathtub deep enough to drown poor Lucy. Oh, that's beautiful. So you're Heidi. There we go. I didn't realize I was on haunted doll watch. You should always be on haunted doll watch. Settling. 
The damage seems intentional. Okay, so we'll do that for Gerda. Get her on our side. Clothing. Fabric burnt in the furnace. A jalabia. A traditional garment from Northern Africa. Okay. I think he said that Kimihia was Maori, so that Garments would not be his. Garments of several dozen people, at least. Unless I'm misremembering, which is... Tons. What's this? Frogs... Oh, here's the third one. Frogs cannot dream, and I surely can. That's the difference between a frog and a man. Frogs dreaming is seedless. There's nothing to reap. So I woke the third frog up from his meaning of sleep. A man counts sheep, and Peter... To Chasek has zero. In holding chamber lies, smothered by a pillow. Third little frog dies in the walls of black elvis. Something for the holding chamber. I've got a note over there. So I've got a big room over there, but a smaller room. This looks like a holding cell. Nope. That's... Yeah, there it is. Let's pick this up first, though. N4, young adult male, Dutch. A weak-minded subject eager to follow orders for perceived reward. Strong build. Dose with 0.4 milligrams. I don't think that they would use milligrams as dosing here, but whatever. N5, adult male Romanian. The subject remained violent, requiring the need for traditional sedatives. Once calm, the dosage for the subject was minimum 0.2 milligrams. N6, adult, uh, young adult male. Nationality, ANU. Diagnosis and language. Incomprehensible subject is thus assumed mad. Subject possesses a lighter, more agile frame and requiring a smaller dose. Ah, here we go. N7, male Maori, language incomprehensible, subject thus assumed mad. Summary, all subjects in good condition showing signs of obedience, regardless of race or native language, they must move for, for, uh, move on for further testing. And more of that shit. Got it. Okay. Why isn't it? So this is how they kept the prisoners docile and harmless. For some reason, the zoom in on that one took way longer. Alright, we got anything in here. There. We also have two clues here. We've got this. Something sticking out. It is a religious pendant. Orthodox reliquary commonly found in Eastern Europe, now in a cell halfway up the Alps. Okay. in Georgian. So many other clues. Oh, open air. Um, I don't see any. Is there anything else over here? Oh, what happened? I guess I, I tripped and it took me out of, um, out of the thing. Blood hit from above. Strong pouring the snow. This stretcher was disinfected frequently. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't seem like they came that willingly. We know that there were several subjects here. What's our other choice? Everyone going in willingly? Yeah, no. Oops. E for previous. No. Okay. Wrong button, but that's fine. That's what I reckon. Okay. 
camping, but we're not quite there yet because there's two more locations to find. <coughs> oh, are these? Yep, here we go. These are the same crates we found in London. I should take a closer look. Connection confirmed. Kimihia may, ne may be nearby. Scratches again. Yes. Just as horrifying as when we saw them before. Substantial blood loss. One poor soul found another way out. Mm. A bottle this dirty doesn't break by accident. Right. These are apparently unopened. I'm assuming that they have been restacked and that there's not actual people still in there. So they did get, leave them with a bottle I or something. Doubt that one could survive such a journey with this little water. Yeah, especially since it looks like it spilled here in this case. Here we have another one of those pendants. This is the same design as the one from London. And air holes. The kidnappers even provided airflow. How generous. Um, what else have we? Can't look at the tools. Oh, here we go. Scrap of. Oh. Okay. Put that in it. Alright. Where is the last clue? I can't move over any farther here. It's not that. It's not on the lid. Oh, that's the water. Oh. It's the thing itself. Dirt and sweat. They were locked in here for days, judging by the smell. This trip was prolonged and perilous. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, they don't look like they're going to come out willingly here. Uh, no. That guy was dead. He killed himself with the bottle. Uh, that looks a little more like it. Not coming out willingly, not happy about it. We're going to go with that. And we have one more location to find. Over here. Oh, second frog. Frogs cannot choose, and I surely can. That is the difference between a frog and a man. A second little frog gave up to its fate, which I chose for her and served on a plate. Abigail Immerzeal, bleeding, almost full tank, near the examination room. She lies with a shank. Second little frog dies in the walls of black. Okay, well, we know where the examination room is. I didn't see anything regarding the third little frog here, though. And that's also not what we're looking for here in terms of crime reconstruction. So, where would that be? It seems likely. The doors can be open for deliveries. Seems not in. Oh, it is here. Okay. Um. No, they were not in a carriage. They came out in boxes. There we go. Validates. All right, it's this one that's wrong, so it must be this, then, but why, this implies to me that the guy came out willingly, unshackled, what's our other option? That guy definitely died, he killed himself in the box, so, if it's not, Oh, is this supposed to be like, oh, he's dead? Like, they were both dead? Okay, that's probably what it is. This is probably not coming out willingly. This is probably one was alive and one was dead. I misinterpreted. The carriages were back through these doors, and they began to unload their cargo in secret. Next, the crates were opened, freeing their passengers. Not everyone survived the journey. The dirty, exhausted, and dehydrated prisoners were then herded into cells. All the cells are now empty, and I have not located a morgue. 
Time to find Hell's door. <sighs> Which means we're gonna need Heidi. All right. Um. Well, this says in holding chamber. The third little frog clue. So I'm guessing it is actually a different place. Although the name. Looks like we're looking for something else. Alright, I'm going to go back to the examination room so that we can get the second little frog. Can't do anything with these, which makes sense. There's guards like right there. So. Oh, and we didn't check what's this way, so let's do that first. Oh, this just circles back around to okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's Gerda. Alright, let's go check near the examination. Foreigners must be taken through a hidden door after some preparation in the cells. This passage must lie somewhere near the back entrance. Okay, so we'll have to go and check. But first, in this, near the examination room. So that was over here. There we go. The killer was limping. But Abigail couldn't escape. Strong, injured, limping, okay. And then there's just one more. Okay. There's just one more in holding chamber. In holding chamber. Um, or was that near? Is the holding chamber where I was? Yeah. Petter gouged at the wall, fighting for his life. Odds are he left scars on the killer too. Well, it's clear that it was a multiple murderer. I'll send the profile to the police after we finish here. Okay. The subject feels superior to other humans and asserts himself at the expense of his victims. He calls them little frogs, likely seeing himself as a kind of scientist who prepares his subjects. Odds are he is meticulous, taking a long time to plan and prepare for each murder, judging by the location of the crime scenes the killer is or was an employee of Black Kettle Rice. I got a stylish suit. Okay. Um, so now we will go back to the back... Somewhere near the back entrance. Uh, so we're going to talk to... Her. Hello, Gerda. I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I believe I have found your... Friend? Heidi! Oh, poor girl. What did they do to you? Shh. It's all right, pal. Everything will be all right. Please, Gerda, now I have found Heidi, I need some help from you in return. Shh, Heidi. We should thank the man, don't you think? I mean, I am interested in why she's here, but I mean, we probably shouldn't lose track of... Like, these two are definitely interesting. I want to know the answer. We should probably not lose track of why we're here. Then again, I think the gold ones indicate paths that may end the conversation. Let's... let's... How did you end up in Block B? The nurses say I'm prone to violent outbursts, but they're wrong. I just do what Heidi tells me. Have you ever met Professor Becker? I remember him. He was in charge here before that witch Gygax. But I haven't heard his voice for a long time. Too bad. He was nice. Okay. Let's focus on why we're here. Tell me all you know about those funny-talking people. 
We'd hear their screams. The guards would take them down the corridor behind you and they'd disappear. And the screams would stop. Mm -hmm. Professor Gygax seems to rule this facility with an iron fist. Do you know anything about her? She's sick. She did nasty things to us. Separated me and Heidi just for fun. Before she got here, this place was all right. Okay. I shall leave you two to get reacquainted. That was thoroughly unhelpful. So they disappear through the door behind us. But we already knew that. Um. Okay. I guess we're looking for a hidden passage somewhere near the back entrance. And it is a concentration clue, so I guess I will... Uh, Assuming this is not the back entrance they're referring to. Oh! Here we go. Scratches. Something has been moved through here. This seems to be a locking mechanism. The whole thing must be a door. Okay. <clears throat> this is an interview clue. Okay, so maybe this is it. Um, let's see. Get this testimony. Like all nice secrets and a working dumb leader. Uh, uh, okay, of the th of those, I was least sure about a working dumb waiter. So, um, <laughs> um, okay, can we somehow get a message to Watson and? Randomly picking here because I'm not sure. Okay. No. Okay. Well, this is going to be easy because there's only one more. Okay, so then I simply don't have the clue yet. Okay, because that's definitely green, not blue. Alright, so... Who do I need to talk to? Talk to Gerda again? Or do we talk to uh, Maurizio? I will make them pay for what they did to Heidi. I found Hell's door, the one that made the foreigners silent, remember? How do I open it? Gerda, please, I cannot get inside. You have to tell me how to open it. How can you speak to me like nothing's wrong? Can't you hear Heidi crying? Look at her! Look! She's suffering. I can't even hear my thoughts over her screams. Poor, poor Heidi. We will fix you. I promise. We will fix you! Leave it with me, Gerda. Hey, I have to fix... The doll. Um, two buttons, thread, glue, and nails. Okay, I'm assuming I will find buttons in the laundry. Long thread. Those buttons. And I'm guessing that I will find the nails and glue in the storage, uh, the 
storage room up over here. Okay, is that everything? That is everything. Let's go fix a doll. Will this help fix your friend? Give it to me. How is she feeling? Everything will be all right, Heidi. Uh -huh. Everything. Yeah. Goethe, I Great. have a couple of questions. Yes, I... Take your little mouth, Greta. You've said enough already. Uh... She won't speak no more. Now it's only Heidi. You helped me, and I didn't cut out your eyes. So we're even. Now go! Confront. Heidi. There are things I need some clarity on. Ask if you dare, but if I get bored, there will be consequences. <laughs> um, what should Heidi talk about? Well, I want to know about how to open the door. But will that be boring to her? I found Hell's door, but it's locked. Is there a way to get in? Hell's door? Never heard of it. Uh, did Gerda mention the door before? Oh, yeah, she did. Um. That's not true. You. Gerda told me that Hell's Door makes people silent forever. And you believe that snotty little girl? I'll personally ensure that she never dares to speak again! Why does Heidi keep everything a secret? Don't see her name on this, but there was a uh, the letter here. Nope. Uh, this one. Professor Gygax hurt you repeatedly, scarred your body and mind. You are not protecting Hell's door. You are simply afraid of the consequences were I to enter. I could tap your teeth out with a hammer until you choked on the blood in bits. You could. But then you would live the rest of your life in fear of Professor Gygax. I can make that feeling go away. How? I can stop her. But the key, Heidi, the key to Hell's door is critical to stopping Professor Gygax. And I think you know where it is. Tell him! But you said... And now I say tell him! The professor. She has a special key. Keeps it close and only brings it down when you people go through. Behind those closed doors, those people start to sing. Oh, they sing in so much pain. Gygax. Of course. Thank you, Gerda. Heidi. I must leave. Leave? <laughs> you joke. Nobody leaves the Edelweiss. Now you will be with us forever! That was very well done. I mean, it wasn't, you know... terrifying or anything, but it was very well done. Alright, and now I have my assessment at the door. I need Watson to steal the key and send it downstairs. Okay. How do I get to Watson for help? Okay, well, we have the working dumb leader. And a successful infiltration. Is that. No. Okay. Uh, seeking help from Watson. Block path upstairs. Okay, block path upstairs. Uh, patient hates the guards. I can get him to create a distraction. Okay. 
The patient who claims to be Napoleon could help. Bringing him could create enough of a distraction to find and contact Watson on the ground floor. I don't know if freeing him is the right thing to do, but... Seems like that's what we need. This has been really cool so far. Um, I mean, I liked Chapter 1. I am loving this game. Um, with there, there has been, so far, anything, uh, or most of the annoying sort of things that we encountered in Chapter 1, most of those are completely gone in this game. Uh, the atmosphere is great. The stories have been great. Some of the puzzles have been a little on the easy side, but hey, that's that's all right too. You know, uh, several of them have been fairly challenging. Um, the only thing that I that I'm so far starting to get a little tired of is the lock picking mini game. But we'll see how often that comes up. If it's a rare thing, then it'll be fine. All right, let's get. Uh, oh. Uh, I figured we'd be doing this again. Okay, so we've got deep, shallow, deep. So, like, let's say, like a three, two, three, one, three, two. Three, two, three, one, three, two. Right on. Oh, no, that first one is one more higher. It's a four, three, two, two, one. There we go. Maurizio. Oh, okay. Maurizio, viva la France. You came to your senses. My humble apologies, Emperor. Spam your groveling, Englishman. Of course. You are right as ever, for you see, time is of the essence. The Royalists have risen again, and your darling Josephine needs you. Paris needs you. Mon amour. But the guards <laughs> upstairs in reception stand in your way. Ha! They will pose no problem for the likes of me. Merci, Englishman. When I return to Les Tuileries, I shall make you a general. Oh, you are too kind, Emperor. Now go. Your freedom awaits. I'm coming, Josephine. <laughs> <laughs> I love the music. Uh, <laughs> All right, there's Watson, John. over here. Holmes, what are you doing here? And where did you get that outfit? It is unimportant. I require your assistance. Um, just tell me what's going on. What is happening, Holmes? I need an explanation. It's quite simple. I created a distraction so that I could tell you something important, and in turn, I need you to acquire something important for me. How can you call any of this charade simple? Watson, we can discuss this later. Time is of the utmost importance. The kidnapped people may still be here. This is what I know so far. What? You really found all this on your own? Focus, Watson. I need you to find a key. It will be most unique. All the details are in my notes. Logic dictates that Gygax will keep it near her. Once acquired, you must get it to me. Perhaps the kitchen dumbwaiter could be of use. Holmes, I... I can't do this. I'm no spy. Yes, you can, Watson. You are unfailingly dependable. Flattery will get you everywhere, it Visitors seems, with Watson. Back here. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Kuntz. After the war, my nerves... I, uh, I fled all that commotion. It is nothing. A patient attempted to escape. He will not get far. Now, if you would like to follow me. All right, we are once again John. I also like switching back and forth between John and Sherlock. Um, that's pretty cool, in my opinion. Um, but well, let's let's see this through a little bit more. Got blood in the water. Blood. Someone must have washed their hands here recently. Um, okay. Did I miss anything? All right, got more up oh, painting. The only reason to hang something this harrowing here would be to create another patient. 
Yes, indeed. Art can do that. A pistol. And I'm pointing it right at myself. That's... safe. Uh, the barrel is blocked, but I don't know if that's supposed to be a clue or not. I mean, a starter pistol. Or just the gun model doesn't have a hollow barrel all the way through. Um, I mean, I see bullets, so they're actual live rounds. It better not be a starter pistol. we run into a little bit of a problem Perhaps here. I should take this. For all, I hope it won't be needed. Um, the model was very good. That definitely resembled a Webley more than the Webley in Chapter 1. Heidi. Did a child make these? Uh, sort of. Anything else? It seems no. I didn't actually get a chance to look at the... Floor plans, so I'm not entirely sure where to go. Garden of patience and a large aviary. We're looking for um Gygax's office or Gygax. October 1879, um, while we were on Cordona, if I remember correctly. As more serious treatment is necessary, my special patient, Wolf, will be transferred to patient room 2 on the ground floor. All their patients must be removed. Um, I wonder if this is going to mention Violet Holmes at all. Um, all of the patients must be removed from my... Because, I mean, Richter could have reached out to the Edelweiss Institute for assistance with the case. Oh. Hold on. All right, never mind. That is all I have time for today. So we will pick up with John and uh, reading this note next time. Take care, have a nice day, and we will see you next time.